In some questions, we are asked to compare two exponential expressions and judge at the end whether they are equivalent or not. This is an example of one of these questions. On the left side, I'm going to apply this power of 2 to the contents of the bracket. And I get 13 squared a to the power of 4. On the bottom, the power of 2 is applied just across the contents of the bracket, just to the b squared. So I have a 13, and b squared squared is b to the 4. In this expression, I'm going to convert a to the negative 4 into a to the positive 4 by moving it down into the denominator. b to the 4 stays in the numerator. Now when I multiply, I can do some cancelling. The b to the 4s cancel. The a to the 4s cancel. And one of the 13s on the top cancels with the 13 on the bottom. All that's left is 13. On the right side, I'm going to convert 26 into 13 times 2. I'll keep a to the negative 1, b to the negative 3. The 2 stays the same. Applying this negative 2 across the bracket, I have a to the negative 2, b to the negative 2. Then, I'm going to get rid of these ne negative exponents, so I'm going to have 13 times 2 on the top, 2 on the bottom. The a to the negative 2 and b to the negative 2 on the bottom move to the top, and I have a squared b squared. The a to the negative 1 and b to the negative 3 move to the bottom, where I have a to the 1, b to the 3. Now I'm going to do some cancelling. The 2's cancel. Both of the b's on the top cancel with two of the b's on the bottom. I end up with a b on the bottom of my resulting fraction. The a on the bottom cancels with one of the a's on the top. I have an a on the top of the fraction. And the 13 has nothing to cancel with. It's still there on the top of the fraction. Because I'm dividing fractions, I multiply instead and I turn the second fraction upside down. Now, these b's cancel, and these a's cancel. All that's left is 13. In the end, 13 equals 13. They are equivalent, and I have to say so. This is how we compare two exponential expressions. In this example, I have a cube root of 3 to the power of 9. I'm going to convert that into exponential form, and I get 3 to the power of 9 thirds. <laughs>